Well, I definitely didn't have covering Mario and Luigi Brothership today on my bingo card, but, you know, things happened. Late last night, there was a massive update to the official Mario and Luigi website out in Japan. We're going to go over that update, which includes names that aren't, like, 100% accurate with their English translations, but we do have also a brand new 30-second uh, trailer, so we do have some of the English words in that trailer. We're going to go over all the Japanese web uh, website stuff, and while we could look at the website itself, we actually have a nice summary here over at Nintendo Everything, so we're going to go over all of that uh, before we do i just want to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers so if you're enjoying all the coverage and you want to stay up, up to date on all the mario and luigi brothership stuff mario party jamboree echoes of wisdom and nintendo switch 2 go ahead and subscribe to the channel also hey why not drop a like on this video we are trying to get a thousand likes in 24 hours can we do it i don't know i have issued you the challenge let's see what happens so let's get into nintendo everything's article it says mario and luigi brothership details characters island battles it says nintendo just revealed a new round of mario and luigi brothership details covering characters islands and battles this comes ahead of the release in a couple of months you can find the full rundown below note that a number of english names are currently tba now again we do have a trailer we'll go over here in a bit uh so this is all translated from japanese so the story takes place in a vast ocean of concordia a new world mario and luigi who come from the mushroom kingdom travel to unknown islands adrift in the sea aboard ship shaped island home to a large tree called the concordia tree the characters mario the well-known superstar of the mushroom kingdom and the protagonist of this game while spending time with luigi in the gardens of peach's castle he is suddenly sucked into a mysterious vortex that appears in the sky and is sent to another place after that he meets kaneta and tapu on fuja funajima again i can't pronounce these japanese names very well guys and learns that the world he was sent to is the connecto land luigi the other main character of the game who is easily scared and a bit clumsy in connexo land you can see a slightly different side of him such as solving various problems with sudden inspiration Conetta is a kind-hearted girl who told mario and luigi about Conetta land where they came from in the mushroom kingdom tapu is a slightly unique character who looks like a piggy uh connector land is home to a variety of drifting islands that serve as the setting for your adventure. Here we will introduce some of the drifting islands that can be reached from Funajima. And I'll throw some screenshots in here from the website. They didn't include the screenshots in the post. Uh, but we have some screenshots of these islands. So Grand Grand Island is the island filled with the rugged hard objects, including the sacred land of Gregradish. Objects may be residents who love to make things are displayed all over the land. So objects are made by the residents is what I meant to say. Uh, then we have Tuis Island. It is a tourist island blessed with an abundant nature, a large tree with a strong shape called the twist tree grows there and is the island's landmark next up we have Savrita Island which is an island with a miscellaneous collection of old buildings recently it seems that kidnapper birds have been appearing frequently in kidnapping the island's residents then we have Zenovoter Island it is an urban island that contributed to the economic development of connector land many of the residents are preoccupied with business giving the island a hectic atmosphere then we have Kangdang Island which is half of the island is made up of magma the other half is made of ice these two opposing races live here and they seem to be fighting every day over some topic or another now battles with aggressive monsters await on each island and the key to victory is to use mario and luigi's combined skills effectively so first up we have a combination attack mario and luigi can use their normal hammer and jump attacks which can be turned into powerful combination attacks by pressing the buttons at the right time so we're going to see one of these i'm just going to play it for you with the full audio here let's full screen this bad boy up Turn off captions. Let's go to 1080p. Let's do this bad boy, right? Here we go. All right, so we got that footage there for you. Uh, let's get back down to where we were at. It says, uh, if you fail to put the inputs, the power of the attack will decrease. So the key is how you can perform normal attacks as a combination attack. Also, if either Mario or Luigi is down, it will become a solo attack. So it's important to always have recovery items stacked up. The brother attack. This is really cool. Uh, they haven't added one of these to the series in a long time. So brother attacks are powerful techniques that consume BP, brother points, and can turn the tides of battle with a single blow. There are various types of brother attacks. For example, the familiar red shell from the series can deal massive damage to one enemy so it is recommended to use it in boss battles on the other hand thunder dynamo in which mario and luigi take turns generating electricity and striking down lightning can attack all enemies making it particularly useful in regular battles where you can likely be surrounded by multiple enemies so let's go ahead and full screen this for you guys as well make sure we're at 1080p and let's rock baby <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> ha 
There you go. Pretty awesome. All right, let's get to our next part in here. Uh, so the key to fighting well is to choose commands and techniques that suit the situation. Be sure to keep this in mind. Uh, unidentified suspicious group is not just the monsters living on the island that stand in Mario and his friends' way. There's also a trio that call themselves the Bold Red Squad and a suspicious character giving orders from behind the scenes. Although details have not been revealed, it seems that they will also be involved in a fierce battle against these people who operate behind the scenes of Connected Land. And these are like all the screenshots. So that, that group they were talking about there just now is actually... Uh, that guy right there when it pops up right here. So uh, that's who they were talking about there. There's another thing that happened with this game is Nintendo dropped a 30 second clip. It goes over some of the titles of things. We're gonna enjoy this clip as well. And uh, just enjoy, here's 30 seconds of the game straight from Nintendo of America. All right, that's pretty awesome. Now, Mario and Luigi Brothership comes out November 7th, 2024, which is very fascinating. It's just really good to have this series come back. I heard there was maybe an update on what all the islands are called. Uh, so we're going to see if Nintendo, uh, supposedly on Twitter, said something. Yes, uh, they do have it here in this tweet on Twitter. So let's go ahead and go on over and take a look. It says, greetings from Concordia. Wish you were here. So here's the name of the islands in English. We have Rumbla Island, Twist Tea Island, a uh, lot of coins island and desolate island are just some of the unique lands you'll get to explore so they got the names over here along with that same 30 second trailer uh the game is looking really really good i think it kind of almost looks a little bit better than it did when they initially revealed it just from a visual perspective but you know it's hard to know until it's actually on your system this is all just media and, and trailers and all that after all uh but the mario and luigi brothership looks like a game that everyone should want to play uh and i'm just excited to have this series come back it looks like they hit a home run we'll have to wait and see what the reviews say we'll have to see how we feel when we play it but gosh knows we'll be doing a live stream of this game on november 7th Seventh, uh, so hopefully you guys look forward to that. Uh, I do want to thank you guys so much for being here. I will catch you guys tonight on our live stream where we could talk maybe a bit more about this, even though we technically went over most of this last night, or uh, we could end up uh, talking about something else. Who the heck knows at this point? There's so much stuff going on. All right, guys. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.